Now it's time for Cannabis Talk 101 with Blue, Joe Grundy, and Mark and Craig Wasserman, the Pot Brothers in Law. Hello and welcome to Cannabis Talk 101. My name is Blue. Alongside of me are the world famous Pop Brothers at Law and Mr. Joe Grande. And you are now tuned in to the greatest cannabis show on this side of the West Coast. Oh, I don't even know the other side of the East Coast. I think this side of the Mississippi at least. <laughs> it's at because least I, on the other side of the Mississippi, there was a good show I heard once. Oh, no. It's, but the, this, we're, we're coming up. We're just going to call it the world. Joe, let us yeah. know what's going down <laughs> in the neighborhood, man. Thank you guys for listening to our podcast, Cannabis Talk 101, all around the world, 128 countries. But who's counting? Call us up anytime, 800-420-1980. Make sure you check out our Instagram pages for daily news, learn the script, and so much more. At Cannabis Talk 101, at pot underscore brothers or underscore at underscore law mark is at was law craig is at was law dog blue is at one christopher Wright. hello and i am at joe grande 52 now our special guests today are a dime in my book I mean, they're not a 10 <laughs> but they're a fucking dime and i'm going to tell you why they're a dime. dime because it's mike martz the ceo of dime industries and frank salazar the marketing director of dime industry who also told us before he got here he's the one who made mike and all this stuff happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. before i just got to be clear before we had mike come in the ceo frank was in here dropping shit like Dude, let me tell you what I really did for this guy and this company. You know, if Man. it wasn't for me rapping and doing the dirt I did in the past, yeah, he Dime would, would be called Nickel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally kidding you guys. He said nothing like that. Very humble, very nice. Check out the website, Dime Industries. That's D-I-M-E-I-N-D-U-S-T-R-I-E-S. That's the website. And also on Instagram at Dime.Industries. Mike and Frank, thank you guys for coming to the show, man. Appreciate you guys. Cool, Joe. So thank off you the top, though, Mike, how do you go and how does cannabis become part of your business portfolio well joe i don't know when cannabis wasn't a part of my life oh really so why not implement it to, to the to, to the legal well? world of like Absolutely. okay because obviously if it's if you're going to say a statement like that i don't know when it's not been a part of my life you're part of the legacy <laughs> program yeah. here at <laughs> cannabis talk 101 Let's and go. you've been doing this for a minute uh 98 since 98 so at what point you're just Hustling packs out the back. I mean, before you go legal, how does this come about? What where, where does it go? For 98, what happens? What are you doing? Well, in 98, I uh, moved out from... Tighten uh, up on that mic, man. Get close to it. My bad, my bad. That's all right. Good. That's you just right. want you to sound good. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's me it's talking to you like, like this. So, uh, I'm me talking to you like this. Yeah, 98, 99, we came out here from uh, Sweden, my family and I. Sweden? Yeah. That's and, sweet. And uh, we initially moved out to Azusa, uh, ah. which, which was a culturally good fit. From Sweden to Azusa. Why is that? <laughs> well, it just seemed more like Sweden. Uh, and then, uh, and then I. There's came... a lot of Latins in Azusa. Uh, in Sweden, <laughs> yeah. Sweden, I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we came out to Crown Del Mar, which is yeah. A little different than Azusa. <laughs> like, that, that was a culture shock. Um, so everybody had a lot of money over there, and uh, my family didn't. So I had to had to figure out means and ways. And I love cannabis, and I started uh, started making money with it and smoking it. Okay, and uh, then and then you get into the legal game as Dime Industry comes about. How does the even name come to be? Dime got um, the name came to be because we filed for a trademark uh, back in 2016 uh, for the name Dime and Dime Industries, and uh, we weren't really ready to be a full blown brand because the uh, legal legalization at that time wasn't really where it is today. It was premature. It was yeah. very premature then. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the, 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 the dime, I mean, if you know, like, yo, like, that's always been something very, like, common in the cannabis industry. Yo, let me get a dime, you know. Dime like, bag. You know, yeah, like, you know, <laughs> so I remember when I first seen the brand, I was like, dope, dude. Like, I, I was just kind of like, you guys hit it right on the fu fucking nose with that one because it, it was so... It was it's so, so simple, easy, so and the simple. way they write it out is so nice with the flower in the M. Right. You know what I mean? It has a cool, classy look, but yet it's still hip, quick, and slick. And like you say, the word dime alone is a... Is a it's name that classic. goes back, you know, two finger bag or dime bag. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, but how long did it take this? Because it's, it's, it's an, almost an evolution going from where the traditional market was into this regulated and licensed legal market. So how long you been working at that? I know I know that I know getting the licensing and all that stuff is a pain in the ass. It ain't easy, baby. When did you start going down that road? 
Uh, we started back in 2015 heavily on the on the vape category. Uh, we were on the Prop 215 back end fulfillment, yeah. and we were helping assisting other brands that were you know putting their name out there, etc. Right. Uh, we handled the back end. Uh, procurement, did the formulation, did the extraction, but we just didn't put ourselves as, as far as a team sure. in the, in the storefront. Um, good move. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it was. It was I mean, good, that, that, it was good and bad because the Prop Two Fifteen market that carried over to license carried over a lot of those brands. And see, when we came out, we were going, "Hey, we're we're ready to come out." Right. Nobody wanted to fuck with us. Like, right. who, who are you at this point? Yeah, no, you know? they didn't know you at the at the time. They didn't right. realize that you were actually going to hold hold your weight because, you know, when I seen the actual product that you guys put out, the 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 yeah. hardware and the things that you guys offer, the 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 product is superior to a lot of people's, especially when they launched. Because and I don't know if you launched with that one, but but either way, when you when it comes out and I see it now, I look at it. It just it just feels good. It feels classy and it. It looks amazing, the white and gold. If I'm feeling it, you know what I mean. It Thank hits you. good. It's smooth. It's it's great. And not only that, it. you guys have a great tagline. Think higher is this hashtag. Did that start when you guys came up with the company, or where did this come from? Uh, it, it started in a conference setting. We were all trying to come up with a tagline, and uh, we couldn't figure it out. So I said, I got to go grab some some uh, some cannabis so I could think higher, and it was just something that was spitballed. They're like, at wait, that what'd time. you say? Yeah. They stopped. Yeah. Yeah. What'd yeah. you just say? Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. There That's it. Is. it. Yeah. yeah. So you came up with it without knowing you came up with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. How fucking great is that, right? Like, yeah, yeah guys, that's my work there, you know. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just come up with shit as I'm walking to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know, we, we smoke weed to elevate our thoughts a little bit or think differently. In this case, I had to think higher. I had to go get high so I could think differently. Let's go. So uh, we, we felt that that carried a strong message um, for the industry. Mike, you started this company. Nobody does it on their own. Every good man has a great team behind him. What does this team look like behind Dime Industries? Because your product looks great. They just plugged you on the on the uh, the pin that they're holding, the battery. I mean, yeah. everything. And for those who see us online, you can see the product. Feel free to click on the, our Instagram or whatever or go to Dime Industries and see it. But everything's great about it. What's this company look like? Uh, if we lift up the skirt? Yes. Because I'm sure it's not all you sitting there going, I know how I can create this. Frank, just uh, let me tell you where yeah, to go. I, I, yeah, Frank, uh, I'm just a face, man. <laughs> I'm just the sweetest the, the little boy. Pointer. I'm the sign pointer, too. You know what I mean? like, no, look, It's I've, over here. It's I've, over I've, there. I've got to tell you, man, uh, the team has been everything, and we would have been nothing without the team. I've, I've teamed up and, and been fortunate to work with a lot of uh, talented minds. Um, and it's it's been a it's been a force. Sure. So let's, let's just put it that way. It's been a force. Uh, I think um, my true value to this is I, I break shit down until it can't be broken down anymore. And I've been really riding everybody on the team to to make sure that it is always tip top. Um, I mean, Dimes intent. We couldn't go out in the market and price it out higher. Uh, we have a harder time to compete because we're still using stainless steel, uh, lab grade, and uh, glass. We haven't dabbed into the plastic side of things where it can become less expensive. Um, and we're having to compete in the marketplace priced the same as plastic devices out there. Sure. Plastic devices, I mean, all devices, all vape devices as of right now are still not tested while being heated. They're tested, <laughs> right. they're tested in a container. Uh, not ignited. So uh, everything that we've done as far as research, uh, we know that we are definitely one of the safest device for the consumer, and that's always been our motto, safe medicine and safe consumption. So Well, and not only that, when, and as I mentioned the team, and you know, not to stroke Frank, and of course our very own woman of cannabis, Janae, <laughs> who is, represents for us and represents for you guys, and that's our first, you know, we've heard of course the brand and seen it around, but you know, you got great people working with you, and not just saying that because to, to pump them up, but you know, Janae, she rocks the dime all the time, mentions it all the time, pushes it out hard, and then when Frank came in too, Frank was such a great spokesman for the company, everything he was saying was so impressive, so great from both ends, right? So 
yeah. Janae speaking of it from the women aspect of just saying what it does, how she loves it. Frank coming and giving the history and all that. It just feels nice. And I just want to give you that props of having good people on your team that care, that care. Exactly. They feel like they care. They feel like they care for you. I just want to let you know what's said behind your back, Thank which you, was those guys were guy and woman were, were saying such great things. And it made me like the brand even more. Like I look at it, see it. And, and you finally brought me a man sized sweater that I could rock <laughs> I so sad that I didn't have any go. gear. And then you made me happy with that aspect. But I literally rocked my military hat that you guys have the other weekend. And I yeah. rocked with a military shirt. I just love oh, your, your that hat. I that I I I've worn that hat and I've gotten hit I don't know how many times. I can't find that hat. It's I looked on the website. I can't find that hat. Where, can you send me that hat? Where did you get that hat? I, I think I sent a screenshot or two to Janae, but yes. I, I got a bunch. Did you say well, diamondindustries.com? No, I said, hey, no, I don't know. No, said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> like, this, is, this is a special one you that said, I, the I got. Here's a card. I, I, I can't me. help you. Go, go to their website and buy something else. So, and that being <laughs> said, as, as the products do so well that we like, and it was oh, yeah. online, folks, you got to go check them out, diamondindustries.com. What are some of the big things that sell on there? Because your hats, dog, they're, they're dope. The sweaters are dope. The swag is is it's there. Point. It's, yeah. It's, it's, if, I, I want to wear it just That's classy. what I'm saying. Yeah, I wanna, like, I you took that stuff for your wife. You're like, my wife would love this. I'm sitting there going, shit, my wife would love that too right. come to think of it <laughs> yeah. who's coming up with all this concept there and, and who's putting together all this stuff Mike Frank 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 talk about it said, I mean, you're Frank the marketing it director you, bro. <laughs> it's a team effort to be quite honest with you like Mike, think tank yeah it's a big think tank like Mike really likes to involve every, everybody from top down so regardless of what you're doing at the company he wants your opinion so we really tackle things as a team and I feel that's why we feel so passionate about what we're doing, because we all have a piece in almost everything that we're doing, from flavor profiles to packaging to marketing tactics, all of it. So he really makes us feel involved from start to finish. So it's a really team effort. And, and Frank, I just want to reiterate um, what we talked about last time. And I want the people out there to hear you come from a music background. Yeah, absolutely. Talk about your background a little bit, because I, th I, found, I found it very intriguing. Man, so I've been in love with music since I was a kid, and all I wanted to do was be involved in the music industry. So as soon as I graduated high school, uh, you know, got into college, I was wrestling in college, but uh, I needed a, I wanted to have some type of involvement in music, so got an internship, started interning at Interscope, and fell in love with it, and that was it. Fell in love with it, um, got an opportunity to, to jump on board, got an opportunity to work with uh, Marshall Mathers, also known as Eminem, um, through my bro uh, Ramon Cassius yep. out of Orange County. Yep. Uh, linked up with Cassius and was running it together for years. And uh, man, it, it really was just kind of me, kind of shaking hands, kissing babies kind of thing. Really wanted to do the A&R thing, so me and him and the rest of the team really worked on a, a bunch of different things. So I was able to see the industry at a very, very young age, make those connections and make those relationships and really understand that, man, it's a, it's a, tough, it's a tough game for sure. It's a tough industry. Frank, being, being a wrestler, did you ever wrestle Mike, uh, Mike yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You can take him? I'm um, man, uh, Mike. <laughs> They're both Mike. getting too old. They don't want to wrestle each other. Who are we kidding, man? <laughs> Motherfuckers are getting old. No matter how big we are. My knees uh, hurt. Uh, how do I answer that? No, but Frank, <laughs> talk about the relationship, too, for folks out there that aren't even understanding how there's very much a similarity in what you're doing now in the cannabis space to what you did in the record space. Absolutely. So in the record space, really, sometimes we're really pushing a personality. Not necessarily that individual, right? A lot of times is who that individual represents or the personality they're trying to personify. So with the brand, it's not really an individual we're pushing. We're not pushing, you know, it's not Mike's face on the cartridge, right? right. The or brand. on the packaging. It's a, it's a brand. So it's a... Well, uh, like the Marshall Mathers brand. I mean, it, it, I'm pushing exactly. M&M. And I got to tell you why it's great. And look at this and look at that. And let me make connections and shake hands and kiss babies. Same concept. Exactly. So it really was for, for me is kind of tying those, that concept and it's treating the brand like an artist. And I felt from kind of introducing certain things and kind of speaking about the brand is look like we're showcasing the artist and we're showcasing the brand, and it's bigger than all of us. I, I think it's that's so, where it's all that point. love comes through from well, the we, team. We, we had that same conversation. It's like a person, you know. 
Absolutely. About the Cannabis Talk 101, the brand is bigger than all of us. You know, I mean, people, you know, come up. I've had people walk up and be like, dude, uh, have you heard about Cannabis Talk 101? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I heard it. I'm literally like, uh, is this a, am I on television right now? Like, is right. this a prank? You know, because when people start to know it, like, you know, you could walk into a room and be having dime and not know that it's yours. And we're just talking. They're like, oh, let me hit that, that dime. I love dime. And you're sitting there like, oh, that's awesome. It's flattering. You know what I mean? When you build something like this, you know? And it's great teamwork. How did you guys even meet? Where did you guys... Was it a bar? Uh, <laughs> no, we actually met through um, Mario, a.k.a. Wizzo. Wizzo! Uh, which I think you guys know. Wizzo. Uh, also, he comes from the music background. He was the music engineer, producer for the Nipsey Hustle album, et cetera. So I... Um, I onboarded uh, Wizzo for a different vertical because uh, he's very smart with computers. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and then that relationship transitioned into the cannabis side of things, and he brought on Frank. So, you know what? That's great. I want to uh, ask you guys about your stores and the different places you're in, but it's Cannabis Talk 101. We'll be right back after this break. Cannabis Talk 101, the world's number one source for everything cannabis. Follow Cannabis Talk 101 on all social media at Cannabis Talk 101.